going to try to use my telekinesis to, you know, turn the tumblers in the lock like he does with his magic. Okay, so I'm going to give you the same penalty because you can't see him. You can't see what you're trying to work with. So, minus six. Okay. But I'm using something my skill is kind of used for. Moving objects around. Well, yes. On the part that he was using, wasn't using a spell. Well, all right, hang on. You can't see what's going on. All right, I'll reduce that to minus four. Okay. Ooh, that didn't work out. Nope. The door remains locked. Hey, Peaches! So, Peaches, can we have some aid? Absolutely. Uh, let me finish uh, binding this room, and is there anything to prop the door open? Because I don't want it to lock back again. Well, hey, or, can I, or is there a way to unlock it from the other side? Hang on just a second. There is a way to unlock it from the other side. Now, before these two guys call for you, you have some searching that you were doing. What yes. exactly were you looking for again? Uh, anything. Uh, who, who lived here uh, in the room? But, uh, you know, did they leave anything like keys, notebooks, uh, pictures, directions to the artifact? <laughs> Pictures of the artifact. Uh, no. Any clues? A Scooby Gang style. <laughs> um, hang on just a minute. Love letter. Yeah. A love letter, no. Ocean? Drug? Chocolate? Easy killer. Strap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. So. No, you don't. You, you don't really see anything there. Um, uh, the room was recently lived in, but it appears that not a whole lot uh, uh, was involved uh, in there. Uh, somebody probably ate their dinner and/or breakfast or two, um, but it doesn't appear that any kind of, of reading happened. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no journaling, nothing like that. No television, no oh, deck no. of cards. There is no television in there. Um, deck of cards, no. Uh, dirty underwear. Come on, what else is there? <laughs> <laughs> well, if shock troopers wore underwear. Um, no. Well, that's... You really don't, yeah, you really don't find anything to help you out, um, except, except to know that whomever was staying here uh, was a slob. Uh. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll set the door and I'll go help uh, set the door propped open and unlocked in case it should fall closed again. And who's calling for help and where? Um, oh, that's Chris the blue blue. Yeah, you, you heard Chris and, and Suban. Um, calling uh, for some help. Alrighty, so what, what do you need over here? Break down this door. Break it down? We we did our best. We can't. Alright, let's see here. Um, I guess it's just a straight strength roll again. I don't know yeah. if I could do it again. But, yes. no, but I know it worked, so do I have any bonuses for trying to aim for the same spot? No, this one has an extra mechanism to it. Huh. I can't Where's describe that? the mechanism. It just seems like uh, maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good with locks. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a lock guy. Anyway, um, it just has an extra mechanism to it that seems like it's going to make things a lot more difficult to do. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Uh, okay. Just... What is there a penalty? Um, I'm gonna go with minus two again. All right, but just plain. It's a fairly high. Uh, it's a fairly high roll, and that one's not gonna get it. Oh so no! Back into lock picking at this point. We are all looking like a bunch of fools. Oh wait, wait, wait! Hold on here. 
Will a card help? We don't have to be. It, it, it could be from the hand, right? Well, it, you know, it's coming from your hand instead of your pool. Right. So, because you guys are not in combat right now. There we go. Okay, adrenaline. Uh, actually, that would work perfectly. Okay, you managed to you managed to jimmy not only the the sliding mechanism for the lock, but you figure out that you've got to uh, uh, stick a screwdriver in and turn at a particular angle so that the door will open. It takes you about ten minutes to figure out. All right, That's yeah, it. I I work at it. I swear a little in French and a little in Spanish. You throw in any Egyptian now that you've learned some of that. <laughs> what was that? What about Egyptian? You know a bit of that now. Uh, I haven't heard anybody say some real colorful <laughs> in That's fair. Egyptian yet. So. Okay. So anyway, let me get to my dynamic lighting, and I can get rid of that. All right. Oh, objects and tokens. There we go. Okay. So the door is now open. Hey. Um, if someone is bound to have heard me, um, if, if that's the case, but I'll, I'll go in yet a oh, nicer bedroom. Uh-huh. That one's got a big desk to it. Oh, nice. All right. Let's start searching the desk gently, carefully, okay. thoroughly. Go ahead and roll find. I'll help okay. as will I. Okay. So you get a, a, pl a plus three to that. He's got the better find. Go for it. Uh, uh, Chris is, is the yeah, best. Chris, yeah. <laughs> okay. Organize the search. Plus three, correct? Plus three. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, no. no way. Really? <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, it's a search. It's kind of a, a broad skill. It's not something that's going to disconnect you. So um, you you feel a kind of a wave of nausea as you try and search and find nothing. It's almost like you're bit by a spider or something. Hopefully not radioactive. Why? Don't you want to be Spider-Man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my uncle to die. What? It's like, do you kind of, okay, here's how I kind of describe this. You know, Chris kind of gets ready to start searching the desk, and then he just kind of sees his eyes kind of glaze over and like, what? Uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not feeling too well. Okay. And now you guys do a search for it, pretty much. Lack of eyes is a benefit in this case. Uh, are we allowed to make rules too? Well, you can try and go further than what uh, Chris was able to search, but I don't think you're really uh, going to find all that much at the desk. I'll give it a shot uh, around the bed then. Okay. All right. Go ahead and, and make a search. Peaches, are you helping him? Ooh. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh oh. You, man. You automatically, you know. So that would be a result of three. So you don't find anything around the bed. At least well, I don't disconnect from have... this. At least you know what? At least, at least I don't have... disconnect. That's true. Yeah, at least he doesn't pass flammable gas. Or disconnect. Now, what or are you trying to do, Peaches? Um, I'm fine. I'm just. Running my hands through, like, underneath the mattress, you know, looking for... Well, that's what the search was all about. So, what was that? Yeah. Uh, it, you search the desk and everything like that, and then the... Uh, underneath the, the mattress, bed. behind the bed, the cutter's bed. I just thought of something. Hang on. Here's the desk. Here's a locker. Yeah, open it up. Okay, so we'll count that search that you just made as as the search to, to look through. Um, 
what you find are some linens uh, for the bed. You find there is a Mauser pistol in there with uh, two, two magazines of ammo. Um, you do find the captain's journal. It is, is uh, Herr Dr. Marlin's journal. Um, uh, and it talks about uh, his daughter Hildegard and talks about how she's back in the uh, uh, back in the uh, at the secret base and uh, if he does not succeed in his mission she will certainly be doomed and and that kind of thing it talks and then it goes into a whole bunch of weird science gobbledygook that you cannot understand at all yeah. And it's it's a you can tell here and there it's about the building of this machine, but uh, it's not uh, it's not anything that you can really understand. Is this a weird science thing? Yeah, it's like whoa. There's there's uh, there's all kinds of of Nile mathematics uh, going on in that book. And, uh, you, again, you just see a whole bunch of weird science stuff in there. This isn't anything that I, a scholar okay, Chris can help out with, right? Chris, take a look at this. This stuff is weird. Do you see this? Blah, 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 daughter's going to die. Blah, 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 messy see. Blah, blah, blah. What the heck is this? Sounds like a movie trope. All right, I think can we get back to the thing? Let's wait for a ginger, probably. I'm back. Hello. Oh, okay. Never mind, then. <laughs> Let's see. You dealt with that. You dealt with that. That door is open. Okay, so what are you guys doing next? Well, uh, this seems to be a door here. Is it openable or unlocked from this side? Um, actually, yeah. You can unlock it from that side. Let me get in to dynamic lighting again, which is a pain in the butt. And I'll move this over. Okay, so that door is what? now open. So now we have this one right ahead, correct? Uh, you do. There is one right there. There weren't any keys or anything like that in the other room, previous room, were there? Nope. No keys whatsoever. <laughs> How odd. They get through here. Did they teleport through the doors? Did who teleport through what doors? How did they get through here with all the doors constantly locked? Well, think about it for just a second. When you park a car in a parking lot, do you leave your doors unlocked? Ah, uh, uh, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. But then they would have had the keys on them. All the bodies we've checked had no keys. Exactly. Well, you Dino took care of a whole bunch. The took care of a whole bunch of them outside for us. We can go check and look for Mo. Mo, speaking of. Who is this Mo you keep speaking of? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Pooh Man wouldn't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, Peaches and Chris. Oh, well, he's an Adinos warrior. Uh, Who is our companion as well? He was traveling with us, and we we lost him in the melee out front. Honestly, we well, had two Adinos that were traveling with us. The kinds of guy in the theological debates, which is pretty hard to believe for uh, Adinos. If I never hear the if I never hear the word Lanala again, it will be too soon. <laughs> oh, believe me, I know what you mean because like <laughs> whenever. they had a debate between their two gods. They constantly got me in the middle of it. I have my own religious beliefs here, but I won't. I, I will not talk your ear off about the gods of Isle. That I. Who would do? <laughs> a bit of context. Uh, my fam. Our fa my family, hunted by years by Barkar's servants, such zealots. They were so irritating. In addition to being out for our blood, it was the worst. <laughs> uh. It's, like when they were, it's not like they were actually talking to each other when they were discussing. It's like, it was whoever could, uh, you know, recruit me into their cult, religion, or whatever first. So they well, would. Well, you have. 
put me like have me in the middle and start dragging me each way as they kind of you know speaking harsh words to each other. You have my word. I will not try and recruit you into my own religion. No, Tid. Okay. So, what is the next plan? Or the next? Okay, plan? get us back on. Right, get us back door. on track. Okay, Peaches. I'm working, on this, I'm working on this next door here. Okay. Uh, go ahead and 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 try to make your roll. Great. Strength again. Is it um? I you know, I'm going to keep up with that minus two penalty because these are hard to work with. You're having to Jimmy steal, and it's reinforced weird science steal. So, no, you didn't make it on that one. Anybody want to help? Yes, I will help. I have to use my telekinesis to move the tumblers. God's sake, six. this is a night. This whole structure is a nightmare of closed doors. We can't open. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's minus four, correct? I knew I should have picked open lock as a spell. Yeah, you, you, can, you can hear me like rattle at the door and I kick it with a and I kick it. <laughs> wow. Oh. So, neither neither Chris nor Peaches were able to open the door. It's your turn. Do what I can. This. Wait, Chris. Uh, hold on. Do I have a support for this? I don't know. Let me try this negative six alteration check. <laughs> hold on, is the Wait, is it still? Is it still negative six? Yep. Wait, a supporter. Wait, a supporter would work, wouldn't it? Open up. Oh, the door? would it? Uh, yeah. yeah. But oh, okay then. Good play. A supporter would do it. Yeah, I hold the. Uh, I I whack it with a screwdriver and hold the jam up while he does whatever thing he does. Yeah, sure. I'm staring at it really, really hard. I don't yeah. really. Okay. It's like that movie, The Men Who Stare at Goats. <laughs> the Men Who Stare at Starfish. Mm. Okay, so what's next? All right, I'll uh, head into the room if it opens. Okay, it's open. You, sh you should be able to see it open. Um, I can't get in, I don't think. There we go. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, do a find on this one. Okay. Who all is uh, participating? I'll help. Is everybody? Uh, I don't. Uh, Saban's not going to be able to fit in there. Not with you two. I'll help out. Oh, well, I'm just, there's just in the background, Thuban is just trying to ooze his way through the door and he just won't fit. I'll keep watch. <laughs> That's fine. Nice character sheet. So a modifier of one, correct? Uh, I close it. Yes. Okay. And uh, blind, blind. Uh, uh, go ahead, Chris. You organize the search. A ten is pretty good. Um, you're over by the desk, and you're able to find that there, uh, there's actually some loose paper there. Uh, the room is actually fairly well taken care of. Um, uh, this loose paper seems to have, again, some Egyptian on it uh, that Peaches should be able to make a language check to understand um, uh, if you want to. Sure, yes, absolutely. Let me do that. Okay. Uh -huh. No penalty. It's just a language check. Just going to check. I oh no! I think that's going to be. We used it. up all of our good luck earlier, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Um, I just read it as well as I speak it. I guess. Well, you've got to have uh, two ads in it in order to be able to speak, read, and write it. 
uh, three ads to be perfectly conversational and, and understand uh, various concepts. And of course, with plus five being the maximum, you're like a professor oh whatever language you're, you're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, a linguistic scholar. <laughs> yeah, there you go. A linguistic scholar, exactly, for that language. Now, um, let's see, what else? Uh, you find a poster of, it's a, it's a black and white movie poster of some starlet uh, uh, from the pulp films of, of that time. Um, who was, I, I don't know any names, uh, of, of, uh, of those early black and white stars. Uh, uh Charlie Chaplin? Uh, no, I'm talking a female. Uh, Lily Gish, Greta Garbo, um, uh, Claire, uh, Charlie Dave, Chaplin Dave. in drag. Let's just say... <laughs> Well, I said Charlie Chaplin and drag. Let's just say. Lily Rush. Um, the It Girl. Clara Bow. Um, sure, Clara Bow works. Um, you guys never heard of Lillian Gish? No, I'm afraid. I'm not making her up. She was like the queen of the silver screen. She talked a lot. She worked alongside Rudolph Valentino. She's. I don't she's know much about classic films. Sorry. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm 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 with uh, Josh on this one. I don't I don't know a whole lot about classic films. Early uh, early silent films. Are you talking silent films? Or are you talking uh, early? Uh, I'm I'm talking early talkies. Early talkies. Yeah. Uh, uh, Clara Bow. Yeah, Clara Bow works. Um, uh, kind of in a. Uh, a nice dress, uh, but it's all in black and white. There's not a whole lot you can tell. It was maybe from a Civil War drama or something like that. Um, and no, I'm not talking Gone with the Wind. Um, let's see. The the Except for the pillow, uh, the bed is all made up and everything is, is kind of tucked in. The pillow is out and it seems like it was fitted uh, recently for somebody's head. Uh, so that they could uh, sleep on it. Um, but other than that, there's not really anything in the room. Uh, no belts, no... There's there's a boot string, a broken boot string next to the door. That's that's about all there is. Whomever was in here was actually pretty decent. Okay, not a slob. Not a slob. <clears throat> so, what's next? Well, I'll go back to the control room. Have we looked through every door that we could find? Uh, we haven't looked through the door all the way west yet, so while oh. you guys are doing that, I'll take the opportunity and try and see if I could get that door open. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, oh, nope, that's the wrong one. Dynamic line. Okay, well... The, the thing isn't moving, okay, so it's actually pretty easy to uh, to get that open. It, it takes probably about 30 oh, seconds good. to actually bring, uh, open it up, okay? And let me get over to objects and tokens. Keep having to switch back these layers so that the changes are made for you guys. Chris, what are you doing? Oh, uh, um, I guess I'm not too sure. There's another uh, carriage this way. It looks like, I guess these are carriages? Uh, carriages, trolleys, whatever you want to call them. So, when you wander in here, um, you see these kind of long hallways, okay? Um, as far as Thuban knows, uh, he is only seeing some more of those silver walls. The, the uh, kind of egg-shaped uh, transition sections that you can go through. Yeah, kind of tough from Avatar here. And just because I can see doesn't mean I can see. Basically, yeah. Yep. Basically in, in a mechanical structure, more or less. It's uh, just her screaming about how she's blind while she's in the desert. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, getting deeper in. Um, it's a band, I'm going to move you. All right. Okay. I'm so kind of a big blockage. I don't mind. 
you see a, a bunch of bunk beds, some pretty high uh, bunk beds. They're stacked about three high each, and there are six sets of those bunk beds um, to the left. Um, to the right, there's a serving buffet, and what you have is there's a very tall glass. It goes, uh, it goes ceiling uh, to countertop and is secured in place. And then there's a serving buffet back here, and you guys should be able to read these, I would, I thought. thought I put those on the map and background. Yeah, you guys should be able to read all of this stuff. Um, yeah. There are various uh, boxes in there, uh, old-timey boxes that uh, may look like refrigerators or old-style ovens, stuff like that. And it's obvious that you have stumbled into the galley. This is a galley and a dorm room. Basically, yeah. Uh, the perfect setup for midnight snacks. <laughs> yes, there is another door here. But do we want to search the bunk beds and stuff first? I suppose I'm full up on Gospog, though, so I don't think I'll need to eat anything else. <laughs> uh, Chris, do you want to take a look at, look up at these bunk beds and see if you can find anything? I mean, why not? I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm going to kind of shorten this up and tell you, you don't find anything there. There are some, maybe some basic talismans, um, but they're not magical talismans. They're just like... Um, good luck charms. Good luck charms, picture frames with uh, family in them, stuff like that. So here's where we would find, say, the decks of cards and the pictures of folks back home? Exactly. Maybe some, uh, like, figurines of Dr. Mobius, like the, uh, their equivalents of, like, the bobblehead Jesus statues. Uh, Most likely. Yeah. Mobius and Sebek and the, the various, uh, the various Egyptian gods that, that uh, a lot of these people would worship. Uh, Bastet and uh, Horus and Ra. Yeah. Try the fun god. He's a fun god. Ra, Ra, Ra. Beatings. <laughs> you deserve beatings. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't worry. That's the only joke she has on that subject. Yeah, I've, okay. been waiting to, I've been waiting to tell that one. Anyway. All right, let's keep, go, let's keep going then so maybe we can finish this act tonight. Right. I, I, I'll, I'll try. Are we both trying the door? Or um, I think you said you were going for the door first, or am I? You can. You seem to be the strongest one here. Okay, let me take a look here. Okay, so if, if you want to try and force that one, you can. Is it unlocked first? That's what I checked. Oh, you <laughs> jiggle the handle, yes, and um, and you hear one single noise. It's a really loud noise from inside that room. A bang, a crash. Um, you can't really tell. It's loud enough that it could be a bang, but a again, shout. What was it? Somebody screaming. Um, no. No, no, just a bang. All right. Did you guys hear that? I stepped back. Yes. Despite not having eyes, I do have functional ears. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess right. I could, uh, well, I'll, I'll still try the door, but someone cover me. Zombie, cover her. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm sorry, I'm zombie cover her. Uh, okay. Ah, I have three meat shields in front of me. <laughs> oh, yes, I wanted to ask about that. What is this he and her business? I've heard of something called gender. Our people don't have it. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh. Some starfish reproduce asexually. Yes, for okay. human beings such as we are, it takes two genders to create progeny. 
I already knew that already. I was just making a joke. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. okay. When you pop open this door, because yes, you did have a high enough. What the heck? I'll try to test it. Minus two. To test it. My, minus two. I forgot the minus two. Well, that's all right. That's still that's still enough. All I have to do is is uh, add it and figure it out. God, there's not enough room on. Okay. This. So I uh, I pop the door and I you know like flatten myself against the wall so that the zombie is like in front of me. Okay. Zombie, zombie's now in the doorway. Okay. Th this could actually end up being a little bit of fun. Uh, hang on a second. What the hell? Why is that person gonna try to surrender to the zombie? No, 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 no. Like um, it's like known for its intelligent conversation. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, are you gonna roll for me? What is sometimes roll here? twenty has a, sometimes roll twenty has some seriously bad input delay. It can get nightmarish. I can't even get the thing, the character sheet to scroll. Okay, let me try and close it up and try and open it up again. Nope, still can't get it to. There we go. I had to close it and reopen it. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so you see a pistol in the hand of a shock trooper who is a little bit more ornately dressed than um, than his other shock troopers, and he uh, aims and, and just whip fires out to out to hit the zombie, which of course I didn't add to the turn order. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to spend fifty bucks and get that get that set up that I want. Uh, okay, so that's a fifteen. I need the zombie, and this one's doing the same thing. I don't understand why I did that. Hang on just a minute, guys. That's fine. I'm I'm about to uh, I, I'm I'm getting pretty angry with the way Roll Twenty is running. Um, Maybe too many people are using it all at once. Yeah, it, it it's a Saturday night. So maybe too many people are using it at once. So not at night when most people are stuck indoors. And besides, it's it's still got the spirit of the game. All right, don't let it don't let it frustrate you, Paul. It's yeah, even though we are lagging at like ten frames a second, basically. It's work. okay. It's okay. I'm still that, having fun. By the way, that's an outstanding success on hitting the zombie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say. Um, I'm glad I ducked. So okay. So let's see. I know what I'm doing. No, oh, really. Open up. I double clicked on you. Okay, now I need to choose. Oh. Zombie. Thank you. Okay, so. Okay, uh, zombie dies. Um, if it's uh, if it's a damage of seventeen. Uh huh. Uh oh, from the two bonus dice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that would. I think that would kill it. Okay. Yawn zombie, uh, is dead. Now it's up to you guys. Decide what it is you want to do. Um, I can use my telekinesis to pull the weapon from her hands. I mean, his hand. Ah, you look important. I cast Possibility Rend on her. On them. Okay, great. Why can't I... Oh, wait. That's a touch spell. 
In that case, um, I'll doom them instead. You're going to doom if... them. Well, you can yep. definitely see them. So, go right. All right then. Through. And I'm okay. I'm gonna fire at him. Ooh, nice. Okay, so uh, that's that's faith or spirit. I'm sorry. It's against their faith or spirit. Okay. So, um, and Stormtrooper Sergeant, faith or spirit? Uh, no faith, so spirit. Eight. So, let's see, that's a result of 14 versus their eight. Six, six result points. Huh. All right, so target is stymied and vulnerable for three rounds. Okay, so I'm going to need to go get dice. Okay, stymied and vulnerable for three rounds. And hang on a second, because I've still got to modify the character sheet. Okay, so... Kuban just did a stymie and a vulnerable against the stormtrooper or shock trooper sergeant sergeant so chris you wanted to yank the pistol out of his hand right right okay have at it go ahead and make your roll 15 okay that's that's good uh you managed to yank the pistol out easily uh where did you want it to go uh to the wayside out of reach at you know User usual procedure. Uh, okay. Peaches. Yes. What do you want? Time to, to do? shoot. Time to shoot him. Go ahead. All right then. Yeah, he fired at our zombie. No, he, he killed, killed Penny. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We can make one out of him next. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got a Kenny too. Oh my gosh. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so. And I'm going to add the plus two because I'm close to him. Uh, yeah, this that's is the plus two to hit. For, so. This is our revenge for the door insanity. Uh, <laughs> okay, you know what? Just go ahead and, and roll the stupid uh, bonus dice. It's plus two bonus dice. For damage. Me? Yes, you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Who else is shooting? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, sorry. Choose my target. This one. Bonus dice two. Let's see if I manage to uh, do a more. Sure. That's it. Oh, they, they're dead? Yep, he's done. Oh. Yeah, so All the big right, shotgun forward. blast. A shotgun blast to the torso. Very good. Nice. Very good. Let's try this again. Once the corpse has had a bit of time to cool off, I'm going to cast speak. I'm going to try speak with dead again. Okay. This time, because I, I am chagrined, I hadn't thought of this first. I am going to pat him down to see if he's got the keys. He is sitting in the control booth. Uh, as a matter of fact, he's got all kinds of keys on him. <laughs> but you I know pick him something up. else as uh, Thuban is getting to uh, uh, start things up with uh, uh, with his little spell. Oh, speak with speak with Dad. It worked this time. Yeah. Well, hang hang on just a second. The panel, uh, one of the panels is, has been shot through and is smoking. Oh, no. And on this screen, well, I'm going to move you in there because you guys don't seem to want to move your, your stuff. Yeah, sorry. Um, that, that's me. I patted him down, so yeah. It's, me because, there. it's because I'm a big token. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, anyway, on that screen right there, you see a countdown beginning for 10 minutes. Uh-oh, Chris? Uh oh Chris, can you help? 
I need I need you to make an engineering roll and stop this countdown. Okay, now Subam. What did you want to yeah. speak with him about? Uh, so let's see. That's a, a fifteen. Hang on, I got to get out and speak with Dad again. Actually, uh, I would. It's a good result. So corpse can only speak the truth, but can still refuse to answer. So it can't lie. Okay. All right. The first thing I want to ask it is, where's the artifact? Uh, what artifact? It. It don't lie. play dumb. It can't lie. What's... Yeah. It can't. That's fair. It can't lie. What artifact? All right. How do we stop the countdown? You can't. It's Shit. Any other ideas? Through. What? What else should I ask? What else should I ask? Why can't we stop the countdown? Because I repeat it's that. Damaged beyond repair. Okay, where's this thing going? What is the countdown? Do, you know, for... Uh, going to a secret... Uh, Whoa, one question at a time. Let's see, I think you can only ask a certain number of questions, can't you? May only uh, question once it, per it, scene. It, oh. Yeah, so that's all you're getting out of it. Whoops. It's worse than that, he's dead, Jim. Okay. Well, I did what I could. Crap. Well, it was a good try. Okay, Ginger, why are you standing in the salad and dessert uh, keeper cart? I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, she's okay. got a chocolate craving. Come on. It's, you know, it goes yeah. with the fire party. Always eating. So, it's counting down. Oh, no. Oh, no. What we do you we need to find whatever you're looking for, right? You, we have the keys. What other locked doors were there? There were none. I mean... Oh, oh, wait. Sure. Will, any these, will any of these keys turn the machine off? No. He said we can't turn it off. We need to find that thing quickly. What thing? Oh, the artifact. Oh, my God. Yes, the thing your Deffy Council mentioned. L5. Yes. <laughs> that, right, yes. Yes, well, I don't think it's dessert. Oh, yeah, no. It's not going to be hidden in the dessert anywhere. More's the pity. Are we launching into a dramatic skill resolution here or something? No, you're not. No, you're not. But you do only have the 10 minutes before the machine is likely going to ramp up and take off. Oh, no. I, I'm going to run back and I'm going to see if we can't... Can we get, pop out our heads out of the hatch and look and see if we can see Mo? Sure. Sure you can. Um... I feel bad you've been left in the dust this whole session. That sucked for me. I can't imagine how that feels for you. Uh, well, there's there's more to it. So, okay. Uh, who all is going outside? What do you want to do? I'm going to... For now, I'm going to stay down here and use some use some of the keys to try some of the doors we've, uh, we weren't able to get through to see if we could find what we're looking for. Okay, yeah, I have, yeah, I handed to I handed the keys to him, and I'm gonna run up the ladder here and poke my head out. See if I can't be a gopher. I'll help Oban. You're gonna okay. Help okay. Then, in that case, uh, there's Penny right there. Okay. So, Penny, your map should have just or Peaches, your map should have just changed. Oh yes, it sure did. Okay, so here you are. Um, you are no longer... Um, hello, why, why can't I pop you open? There you are. Okay, you are no longer that. So I can close that. All right, go ahead and make a find test. Just a standard find test. And if you want to add anything to it, like a possibility or a card, feel free. Uh, all right, let's see. 
no, that's not going to find anything. Um, yeah, also, I'll, I'll, you guys sucking at your rolls tonight. Um, okay. It's only in combat we don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> this time around, the last time we sucked in combat, it was a, it was just right, a comedy. right. I remember it got it burned in comedy. Comedy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, oh no, I forgot to click my character before the token to add a possibility. Well, um. And you rolled a nine. Hang on, I can change that. Nope, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's enter here. There we go. Okay, now if you want to uh, throw a possibility at it, click on your character. Click on, on my token. Co- on my token. And then uh, throw a possibility at it. And is there a modifier? Uh, no. Okay, come on. We're at- it's not working. What do you mean it's not working? You should just be able to throw it. I mean, you, you've clicked on your character. Clicked on my character. Okay. Token, yeah. Your your turn order is established here. Okay. And so you should be able to click possibility, and that will allow you to... On my find roll, correct? On your find roll, yeah. Input value, zero modifier, submit. No turn order item was found. Uh, you could try rolling the possibility manually. Hang on. Um, hang on a second. Add turn. Modifier, nine. Enter. Okay, uh, and let me get rid of that one. Okay, try it again. There you go. There we go. go. That one, okay. okay. All right, a 15 is a lot better. Okay, nice roll. Um, you're looking around, and to the, let's see, if north is that way, then to the southwest of, of where you're at, um, and you can see where north is if you go down to the bottom left of the map. Uh, just scroll down there. So... Uh, you see in the distance um, a very large dinosaur. It has um, it has big old scales down its back. As a matter of fact, hang on just a second. Uh, where did I find that handouts? Uh, oh, that's not going to help. Okay, did you see that pop up? Oh yeah, this okay. massive creature. Now, grazing slowly and harmlessly among the trees of the southeast to the map. Yep. Now, this front left leg of it, um, as you're looking down, you see a whole bunch of trees are missing, as is that quarter of its body. Its front left leg and uh, a good portion of its body and its neck. Uh, its neck ha- it seems to have fallen to the ground. The, the rest of the creature is is standing straight up, but its neck has fallen to the right. And there is smoke rising from that area. Not necessarily from the beast itself, but from uh, from the uh, area where this has taken place. And the beast isn't running off? The beast is dead. Oh, wow. Its neck is... Whoa! Right. It, it's it's 160 meters long and up to 80 meters high. Well, right now you're only seeing about 30 meters of its body and no trees around it. There's a bunch of uh, brushes wow. and scrub and stuff like that, but nothing else. Um, I, I, who's the fastest, uh, me or Chris? Uh, what's dexterity? Chris is not here. Oh, I thought he was. No, he stayed with the band. Me. He's helping okay. me look for the artifact before this thing explodes or starts going or whatever. Yeah. Um, all right. I, I start. Um, how fast can I go well, in that direction? Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, Mo went that direction, didn't he? He went right when we went left, and or he went south when we went north. Sure, something like that. Okay, so let me go ahead. Uh, okay, so your movement is 10. 
Okay, uh, 30 for a run. Now you're still in enemy territory here. So how fast do you want to move between 10 and 30? Uh, oh, we only have 10 minutes on the counter. I'm gonna do the full 30 if I can. Okay. Um, let me let me do a little bit of calculation here. Uh, let's see. And where am I? Where's my? I'm standing. Oh, there I am. There I am. Where did your token go? Okay, there you go. Right. Uh, so hang on just a minute because I'm going to do a little bit of measurement. Yeah, I'm going to do an all out run to the obvious destruction. I I would bet dollars to donuts that that's where I'll find Mo. 35, 36, basically 36 meters there. Hang on, that can't be right. Yeah, 36 meters. Okay, so it takes you. You go at an all an all out run, and you're dodging some bushes and stuff like that, and and you're kind of moving through, you know, like so. Yeah. Okay. And and trying to to get your best run out of it that you can. Um. Uh. After the first ten seconds, you see that there's no fire, but there seems to be some kind of a large blackened rectangular stone. It's standing very tall, uh, probably a good four meters tall, two meters wide, uh, and it seems to be emitting its own light. A stone. Yeah, a big old stone. Um, and it's, it's right over where, as a matter of fact, there is a huge, huge amount of meat uh, that forms a 15-meter uh, radius circle around this huge stone. Where is this? It's 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 off the map actually. It's uh, it's more over. If you go to the well, here here's what I'm going to do. Uh, shift. Why is that not shifting? Oh, this is killing me. Killing me. All right, shift. Killing me, Smalls. Off, <laughs> off the side of the map, over here, okay, probably another 10 yards, 10 meters, okay, you've got, um, you've got this meat formed around this big stone, okay, but you also have a, um, you also have the unmoving form of your friend. What? I see Mo? Yes. And his top half... <laughs> is it seems to have been cut directly along the base of the stone. But there's no blood. What? I'll, I'll go to Mo. Okay, you go to Mo, and he's as dead as a doornail. No. The Mo's over here somewhere? Uh, beyond that. He's... he's okay, you... you each of these squares, okay, mm -hmm. is five meters across. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. He is ten meters beyond where my arrow goes. Oh, okay. And what happened? Did the stone or something fall on him? No. It's standing straight up. It is one half meter thick, four meters tall, two meters wide. Is it the artifact? No. You would not be able to carry this. Hmm. Now, there is another another body of an Adenos off to Moe's left. And it's more on the other side of the stone, but you can still see it. And it seems to be more or less intact. Uh, but you can't really... Uh, it, you, you can already tell it's dead. Is it, uh, it's intact though. Um, skirting around the stone in a, a bit of a wide berth. Okay. I'll, I'll go check it out. Okay. As you're kind of skirting around the stone, you're, you're watching the stone so you don't get too close to it. And you're kind of yeah. watching the body of the, of the Adenos. Yeah, that... 
on the other side of that stone, you do not see uh, Moe's legs. But what you do see is... Actually, you know what? Give me an evidence analysis roll. What the hell? Yeah, what the... What the what? It weren't pretty. Oh... Uh, well... Oh, no. Does anybody have anything to help? Do I have a card that'll help? Yeah, do you... Does anybody have a supporter card or anything that could help? Let me double check. I have a an action card, but I think that only works for me. Although, I think we could freely trade cards out of combat. Yeah. So All right. Uh, do you want to trade any cards? I have a second wind card that says play to recover five shock. And I, I have an adrenaline. Why card. don't I tr why don't I trade the second wind for my action? All right. Take that. All right, I'll pop. I'll, I'm not sure. I'll just put this by my character token. Can you see the map where I am? Uh, I can't. Can you see the card? Uh, I cannot. Okay. Okay. Jenny, We're on different maps. Jenny, yeah. Recover your card. Okay. And Suban, if you put out a card, um, go ahead and recover that. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Ginger, you're back on that map. So you two know. can exchange cards now. Okay. So I see it. Okay. Let me put uh, the action card back down. Okay, Ginger, can you see that one? Um, no, where is where is his token? Hold on. It's here, here, Ginger. Okay. I see it. I see it. I got it. Okay, so go ahead and retrieve that. Now, let me move. Well, I don't really need to move you back over um, because the rest of this is just kind of being taken care of. Uh, a name does not come to mind, but you see a small golden, what appears to be an egg. Okay. It's laying there. There's no blood on it. It's just... It's a beautiful little egg, and it's it's wrapped up in a little box uh, that has clear sides to it. Oh wow! But uh, they're clear sides. Oh wow! Um, that looks obviously expensive. <laughs> um, I uh, um, I, I'll, I'll I'll pick it up, but I, I want a token from. From Mo as well. Okay. Well, what, uh, um, Andrew, what was Mo wearing uh, that she might be able to take as a token? Uh, let's see here. He had that that tooth necklace, but I think we all had one of those. Uh, she could grab his clubs. They're right there. Yeah. Um, uh, plant... Um, idol of Lanala, you know, like a little formed piece of wood plant. It didn't do anything. It was just like a little, little, little Edenos, like you know, crucifix type thing. Uh, yeah. And other than that, he didn't really have anything. I mean, you know, he he had, uh, you know, he he didn't. He wasn't one for possessions. No, but he did make that T Rex tooth necklace. Uh, I'll, I'll take that. Okay, so um, write it down on your sheet somewhere, uh, Ginger, for Peaches, that uh, you've got his two, uh, uh -huh, T-Rex tooth necklace. Now, here's, here's what happens. When you pick it up... You... And I'm very sad, very, very sad. Yeah, when you pick it up, you get a little shock... Um, that uh, kind of pervades your entire body. It's, it's, it, it almost holds the depth of sadness that that you're feeling. It almost doubles your sadness. I want you. Oh to yeah. Well, she's glad he's a girl at this moment because she does just like uh, start crying. It's not a shame. 
Okay, roll a d6 for me, Ginger. Roll a d6? Mm-hmm. Just a straight d6. Okay, you lose a possibility. I do? Yep. Okay. Um, well, if it donates it to... to uh, Mo, uh, Mo, for Fallen Companion, that's fine. Okay. All right. So, um, what do you do now? Uh, she's got very limited time, so she'll uh, grab the gold thing okay. and tuck it under her arm like a football and run back. 